Hello everyone, Indie Voice here, bringing some indie games that may be of some interest to you. Now, this game it was released on PC and other consoles way earlier this year, but now, since yesterday, it was released on the Nintendo Switch, and so far, the controls are not bad, but the graphics on the Switch, eh. Today we're looking at a game called Sifu. It is time to go on an adventure of Kung Fu and Vengeance. The story of a young Kung Fu student on a path of vengeance and hunting for the murderers of his family. One against all. He has no allies and countless enemies. He or she has to rely on his unique mastery of Kung Fu as well as the mysterious pendant that prevails and preserves his family legacy. Now my personal experience of playing this game it reminds me of a old Bruce Lee movie, Fist of Fury, aka a young man that seeks vengeance for the death of his teacher. But in this game, you get to choose between a boy or a girl as the main character of the game. While you go on your journey of vengeance, you have these strange coins or this mysterious pendant on your belt that allows you to gain more age every time you lose against someone. In a way, it's like a to-be-continued, but with a price. The more you age, the more damage you gain, but the less health that you have. There are main ways to gain your youth back that you just need to take down the enemy that you lost to or regain them at the statue. So far, I am very impressed of the mechanics of this game. Mostly, patience helps with way more than going in guns blazing. A comparison between the Switch and the PC versions, as shown here, these are very visible, very different when you look at them because the Nintendo Switch graphics are a bit downgraded than what I see here on the PC version, especially with how the characters look like they're all blocky. While if you look at the PC version, they're very smooth, more this is actually a human model. Even though with the bad graphics, the controllers do feel a bit better on the Nintendo Switch. Now for the pros and cons of Sifu, very well done story, Good graphics on PC and Sony consoles. Interesting mechanics of learning your mistakes. Student mode for those that want to play just for the story. Sensei mode for those that are looking for a challenge. Easy to play, hard to master. For the cons, the graphics are a bit low on the Nintendo Switch, so I don't really recommend getting this game on the Nintendo Switch unless they fix it in a later patch. I don't know, but looking at this, it's kind of a bit of a downer. Again, another easy to play, hard to master. Some of the controls on the console feel a bit sluggish, and the death multiplying mechanic can be very brutal for most gamers. The verdict I give for this game, so Sifu has a really good concept, great mechanics, and overall amazing level design and visuals, but at the same time, it can be very difficult for those that die countless times. Sifu gets a rating of try it before you buy it. It's more like one of those arcade fighting games with a very linear storyline, but if you like a game that is very challenging, definitely something to learn and try to hopefully master at some point, then this is definitely the game for you. But thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more indie games, check out my YouTube channel for more.